guys are friends, welcome back to the Ponter Show. And we're here at the Three Ways Community Centre, High Street, Newry. And we're here to talk to none other than John McCall Jr. Yes, John McCall Jr. John McCall Sr.'s son. <laughs> so we're here to talk to him about free Irish language classes, friends. So let's go in and see John McCall Jr. Right, our friends, welcome back to the Bonta Show. He's on the ball, he's on the <laughs> ball. We're joined with John McCall Jr. How the devil are you, nice John? You're totally not too bad, keep Lo- well. Lovely to meet you too. Lovely a big, to a you. special shout out to John and Mary. Yeah, yeah, my mum and dad. Razor right, John and Mary. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, good friends. I mean, and Rory and Robert and Matthew. Rory, Robert and Matthew, <laughs> big razor. Big razor to the whole McCall family. <laughs> Love the bonesies. So, John McCall Jr., great to see nice you. Nice to meet you, Tony. And very welcome here on the Banta Show. Thanks very much for having me. Now, we're here to talk about your English, Irish language classes. Yes, yes. Uh, so, we've... Um, this is starting up actually uh, tomorrow night at about quarter past six right. in here in the three ways and uh, it's very exciting. Uh, it's going to be an adult class for beginners um, and uh, it, at the end of the six weeks there'll be Cobble Fockle informal accreditation awarded to the, those who attend all six weeks. So here's a wee poster of it here. You may have seen it doing the rounds on Facebook and on social media and uh, it's going to be every Tuesday from tomorrow night, 11th of October, to the 15th of November, six weeks course, uh, in order to get people a chance to use a bit, of the, a bit of Irish that they have and improve it and try and get them up to intermediate level. And then once they're at intermediate level, then they'll hopefully be able to move on to the classes that the Conor and Gilliga provide up in Chapel Street and the Gale Irish for and, then up to, and if they wish and if they have the time, the Irish Diploma classes in the SRC in, uh, in the Tech in Patrick Street in Newry. Wow. So, yeah. And your father's involved in that, isn't he? Daddy's involved with that, yes. Yeah. So, Daddy's uh, uh, coordinating that, um, and he's doing a really good job at it, him and uh, Cricky Markey. Brilliant, because well. I was talking to your dad there one time before. Yeah, um, yeah. We had to do a shout out and all for a big shout out to him and Cricky. Raise our lads. Well done. <laughs> well done, so yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's uh, good to have that going on, and I've been involved in. The Irish language uh, for a long time. I started learning at the Abbey at the age of 11 years old and just been continuing on with it. I've had uh, been taught by great teachers um, and I've gone to the classes. I studied abroad um, wow. two years ago in the United States and set up an Irish cultural society and we had Irish language classes and classes about Irish history and, and culture and it's, I think it's very important and I think it's also important for folks to know that regardless of what community background you come from, regardless of whether you're Catholic, Protestant, whether you have no faith at all, whether you're from a nationalist background, a unionist background, the Irish language is yours. And I think Linda Irvine in Belfast doing a great job, a lady from a unionist background, and saying it's her language just as much as it is Jerry Allen's language or Martin McGuinness's language, that um, the Irish language is important to all of us in the island of Ireland, regardless of the border, regardless of whether you're in Northern Ireland or the Republic of Ireland, and the Irish language is important. Um, we're very grateful to the Forest and the Gilliga for providing support. The course is free um, in terms of the resources that people get and the learning that they get. And we're also grateful to the Three Ways Association for providing, for providing us with the facilities as well. If you want to find out more information, Tony, um, people can find out more information by giving me a wee ring. Uh, on the uh, numbers in the poster and also my email it's jpgmccall at gmail.com I'm also on Facebook John McCall Jr I'm also on Twitter at jpgmccall as well so um, yeah and it's a uh, scheme that's sort of being sort of uh, managed as well and facilitated by uh, the uh, Irish Gaelic League the Gaelic League in Uri and it's the title of it is Angelica Mask and Fubble or Snahistat Tiki Octa which means the Irish language amongst the community in the housing estates, and that's where the Irish language is based, you know. And it's in, it's in. There's a potential uh, to re- revitalise this area as a great, as a Gaeltacht region, um, as a great Irish-speaking region. We've had the Gaeltacht, you know, before in Omeath, and and Newry has that potential, and um, it's great that people. You know, showing her big interest in learning the language and, and picking up and picking up yeah. more about it because it's a beautiful language and one that we're we, we ought to be very, very proud of and one that we should, we should make sure it continues for future generations ahead. Well, fair play to you for keeping it going. And as you, know, as you say, there's a huge revival yeah. in, the, in the Irish language. Yeah, yeah. And it's not just, it's not just for, for Catholics or Protestants. It's not. And no. as you say, a big shout out to Liz Irvine. Yeah, yeah. Linda well Irvine. Done. Linda yeah. Irvine, razor. Big razor to you. That's a big, yeah. a big yeah. shout. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it, it should not be about, about religion or anything yeah. else or politics. 
Yeah. It was a language here in this country before yeah. we even knew how to speak English. Exactly. Basically. Exactly. Basically you know. I, I went to a, 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 a common Gaelic meeting at Queen's last year and uh, Linda was giving a talk to the students. There were students there from a lot of different societies and it was an excellent talk and she was explaining how, you know, it's one of the high schools, there's Irish language in the motto, there's Irish language in the Royal Irish Rifles, Fine Valak is their, is their motto or whatever. So, you know, whether, regardless of what background you're from, the Irish language is there. Wow. And it's something that should be valued and treasured and, and, and loved. And those who speak out against it, whatever, um, you know, are ignorant of the beauty of the language and how important it is. And is it easy to learn Irish? Just for anybody who's actually thinking of giving it a go, and they're maybe a bit dubious about it. Just, just to tell the viewers, yeah, is it easy? Well, see, no language is easy. It's whether it's Mandarin, Chinese, or French, or Spanish. It's, it's going to be tough at the start. It's going to be challenging. But I mean, if it wasn't challenging, I mean, it wouldn't really be worth doing. If it was just that easy, yeah, you can, yeah, you know. But after a bit of while, practice, you know, practice makes per, makes perfect. Clocked and John and Maestrocht, as the Irish Shanapa goes, as the proverb goes. I remember when I was in the Abbey. Listen to tapes. This is back in the days. We were using all of the tapes, and then it was onto the CDs. Listen to it religiously, you know, and that's the way you have to do it. That's how you pick up your Irish. That's how you, you grow it and uh, you learn it. And the Connery Gaelica does a good job up in Chapel Street, you know, in the Gaelic Irish, of of helping people listen to their Irish or help people improve their Irish and listen to like Radio Neil talk to reading in Fuinche and uh, watching um, TG Four, Telfish Gaelic Ciathar. Um, all that helps as well too, but uh, it's a language that's you know it's very useful and it's very um, it's it's great to have once you have the the bones of it the basic structure. It's complex, it's complicated at times, but I mean English is complicated if you don't have it as your first language as well. Indeed. French and Spanish is complicated too. Mandarin, Chinese, Arabic, they're all challenging too. But uh, I mean it's worth learning. Definitely. Now, prospective students, yes, what is required for them to bring along? Um, the Irish just uh, a willingness to learn, but a determination. Um, pen and paper, or pen, pen and paper, yeah. A um, few notes, a few notes, and things like that. There, I'll provide the resources. I'll bring them with me, and um, just your enthusiasm and um, and you know. There just, you go. Come. Just come and enjoy yourself. That's all I can say. Learn our native language here, yeah. friends. Yeah. This yeah. man's going to teach us. He's the main man in charge, <laughs> just like his father. Yeah. And I have to say, I commend you on this, John. Um, Thanks very much, Tony. And it's, we're just going to give you, there you go. And anybody interested, you can get this man. He's a Facebook friend of mine. Yeah. You can get him on Twitter. You can get him all over the internet, like, yeah. just like ourselves. <laughs> or else you can get on to us and we can pass on your details to John Jr. Yes, well, please do. Please get in touch. Well, I have to say, I might even come up myself. If I get time tomorrow night, no bother. I'd be, be up to, here. It would be great to have you. And it would be, you know, we'll put our own spin on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, John, as I say, thanks a million for talking to us. Sure, Pleasure to have you on the Panther Show. For sure, me Margaret. Uh, my special shout out for me and John McCall Jr. Come to the Irish language classes up here, Three Ways Community Centre, High Street, Newry. So for me and John, we're doing a special. A razor. Razor Slangafoil. Razor Slangafoil. Grimina Mayogov.